Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name is Austin and Mother of Brooklyn starring Edward Norton and this is a story about a guy that has um, like a type of like condition where he can't stop twitching and he has like um, stuff going on in his head that he always has to put together and um, he's like really smart, he's good with numbers and so he gets put in a situation where he wants to figure out um, a case basically about um, around a, a friend of his that gets um murdered and that got put uh put in a situation that he messed up in and so he basically goes off um doing his own investigations to figure out um who um killed him i to be honest i had no idea this was based off a book so going on uh, uh <clears throat> So to be honest, I had no idea this was based off a book. So going on throughout throughout this re re review, I can't speak, um, is that uh, I will not be comparing things to the book at all. And if I say that you guys should go watch this, it's because I never saw the book. I'm just saying it because um, because of from a guy that from a movie perspective, a guy that didn't read the book. So if you guys have read the book, I have no idea what to say for you guys. So this is probably not the review for you, but for the ones that haven't, um, stay around and um, and hear what I have to say. Even for the guys that have read the book as well, I mean, I, I have no idea, but let's just get right into it. So I actually really enjoyed this movie. It was a whole ton of fun. It's It was very different from all these other movies I have gone seen recently. I mean, I saw another movie that was based, I f it felt like a lot of like this. Um, the Gold Finch, something like that. Um, so that was basically the same, not the same thing, but it had the same feeling, same style, same film, like same filming type of uh, style to it. So that's probably another reason why I really like this because I really actually enjoyed that film, but there's still flaws to that like there is here. Like, um, so uh, Edward uh, North's character, um, he plays as he plays as this um, guy that has like Down syndrome, I believe. I have no idea what the condition is actually called, but he has a friend um, that really really has been something to him in his life. He basically helped him um, use his brain and way to fight his condition in a way that he could use it in a good way. And so, and this friend was played by Bruce Willis, um, and so Bruce Willis's character gets thrown into a situation where. He basically gets um, shot because he, I guess his cover's blown. I actually had no idea who these guys were. They it didn't really explain it well. And that's what I really have a problem with this film, is that it doesn't explain a lot of things very well. It, I mean, after thinking about it, it's like, oh, okay. And they sometimes said what they were, but they didn't really blatantly said it. And so it was really confusing for me, like what they were. And so I don't think they're actually good, like detectives or anything. I think they just like like sell cars or something like that. From who, you guys, can please correct me on this. But so, but yeah. Um, and so I, but I, I really liked um, Edwards and um, well, um, Bruce Willis is like dynamic in this film. But I wanted a little bit more because all we learn from them is like a little bit of their past but not really that much like so i wanted a little bit more to give me a reason why um why to understand to um for edward's character to go off and figure out who his killer is i really and like and like um expose them i wanted a little bit more reasoning and they give us a reasoning but i feel like that you could have done a little bit more with it so I kind of wanted uh, a little bit more attachments to Bruce Willis's character. His wife, uh, he, Bruce Willis has a wife and, and um, in this film and she's completely a dick. I mean, you, you could take out her character and wouldn't change anything. She's hardly in the film, but I felt like she was just pointless. So she she had no role, but you know, it, that could have shortened the runtime because it, it did feel a little bit long. But who I really liked in this film was William Defoe's character. He's the one that basically helps out um, Edward's character, uh, Lion, Loan, Loan, something like that. Um, so he basically goes around helping him, gives him clues to um, cases and all that. 
And so I really liked his character, but he has really no development in the film either. He's just there to, he's just basically like a plot point and to like give off expert, um, expert, um, explanation. Like just, he's just a way to give away plot and all that. Can't speak at all today for some reason. And so, um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot. There's a girl, um, girl character in the film that, uh, she has connections to um to all these other guys that um basically were involved with Bruce Willis's character and so she has uh, she has no idea what is going on so she is basically thrown into the mix because of of these characters that she was connected to decisions that did not go well for them so i really do enjoy this i wish i got a little bit more info um, from um, certain areas because it felt like they expect us to know that this was based off a book and so they expected you to read this book and I saw going into this I had no idea what I was going into I was kind of hoping like for like a detective mystery I only saw one trailer so I had no idea that this was it was kind of detective like mystery story but it's not really but I was kind of hoping that they went a little bit more into it. But I really do enjoy it. If you guys like stuff like this, um, go check it out. I'm going to be giving Motherless Brooklyn a C-. minus. It's really something that you could wait for. But it's, and it's also not something you need to go watch and, um, on the big screen. But I do recommend going to see it um, when you get the chance. Not Don't go out and immediately see it. But... And, but yeah, I do recommend seeing this. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.